Nagaland State Commission for Protection of Child Rights Saga Chairman Alun Han Singh Pra Friday the Kushi ke child abuse case kande bishi bag victim aro galti kuriya ka naga party bitore nijor khota kuri logina mamla do khotom kuri de kintu itu rukha bole lage kile mane galti kuriya manu kan saza pabole lagya kan na pai jay ta aro khushi ke Nagaland de cases kan alag state sukure compare krishi koile komti ase See this like this when it comes to commission. These things first, you know, we don't take up those cases as such, okay? But then whenever we hear, we used to monitor how the cases are going, how the cases have been taken up. And here, one thing which uh, the commission finds is that, see, in most of the cases, be a child abuse, be uh, a rape, case or uh, be a uh, distinct uh, child trafficking you know most of the cases finally gets compromised between the two parties so it is sometimes very discouraging the perpetrators does not get the due punishment according to the act according to the law so what, as a commission, would like to encourage is that let we should do away with this sense of compromising, compromisation between the two parties, so that in that way, you know, justice can be meted out to the victims and the perpetrators be booked, so that this will, in the long run, discourage such practices. So that is our step. Fortunately, I think being a Christian state, uh, it is not comparing to other states in the mainland. I think there are very only few cases because of the moral obligations or the moral is quite high as, as a Christian state. That is what I believe. So, of course, because of the, you know, organizations, we are in a digital age where cyber crimes is prevalent, you know. The cyber crime, when you say cyber crime, it may come in different forms, even pornography. You know? So these are the and what I'm told is that there are millions and millions of you know pornographic sites. And these days children are all access to internet. Especially after we have experienced that uh, pandemic, you know. So now everybody's access to internet, everybody has, even the children, they have their own mobile. And they get access to those, those sites, you know, websites. So definitely when you look at it, you know, this increases the rate of crime, but for, in one way, fortunately, in the case of Nagaland, I think, comparing to other states, there is not much. Hidu Homoy Nagaland Laga Department of Social Welfare Secretary Marta R. Ritsepra Thursday woke up no sal bacha ekta ge abuse kriya upor kushi ki Child Welfare Commission pra Hidu Mamla de bishi active pra action lagai lagya khan loye se accused ke POCSO act laga under pra deal kuri bole ase tai kushi ki etia bhi Manu Khan awareness bishi lagya se kintu Manu Khan jankari thagya ni mide cases kam report bhi kuriya se tai kushi ki bacha khan laga right sopore Manu Khan bhi chup chap na thagya so yesterday, uh, whatever has happened in Woka, RCWC has taken an active, uh, uh, proactive part and they have uh, taken the, uh, whatever action that has needed to be taken and things will be carried forward as per what is provided in the rules. So that's, uh, that is the status as of now. So the culprit has been arrested and he is in police custody. So, She'll be tried according to the POCSO Act. Yeah. Awareness, sensitization. So when people are aware that the chances of such things happening again is minimized. So uh, awareness would be very important. And when an, when an incident is reported, 
Then we, uh, when an incident happens, we expect that it should be reported immediately. We have a system in place where these things, uh, where these things have to be taken care of. So the system is already there. It's just that people need to be more sensitized and made more aware. Yes, people are becoming uh, aware now, and then we, we like uh, our chairperson for the state commission has just mentioned even in his speech. We have we are getting reports, which is why we, we have come to know about yesterday's uh, incident and the day before CS incident in Koima also. So people are coming forward now. And when it comes to children's rights, I think no one keeps silent. People come, do come forward. See, this is something that would, uh, it would come down, it will boil down to the, the relative or the parents or the caregivers being, being aware and being sensitive and it boils down to sensitization again. But uh, as far as uh, the cases are concerned, such cases that have been reported, we have, they have been tried under the POXO Act. So according to that, I think we do not have, uh, these are done in the fast track court most of the time. So according to, according to that, I don't think there has, there may be one or two, but the majority of the cases get tried very fast. So I don't think there will be so too many pending cases. See, reports come from many angles. Sometimes it is reported through the child helpline, sometimes directly, like yesterday's case was reported to the CWC. Um, uh, cases that are reported, it's not strictly for abuse, it comes in many forms. Missing children, children who run away from home, all these come to the child helpline. So as the, I think the, of course, uh, with, the, with the passage of time, we do have uh, an increase also, but, um, but the proactive steps that are being taken are, uh, it is also now has improved to a great extent that children are now uh, being taken care of, they are being rehabilitated. Um, I, I think uh, at the earliest, if I may say so. Things will be taken care of and all action that it will be needed will be done as per the, whatever the law, has, the law has provided. So those things have been uh, taken care of and then uh, from the social welfare perspective, we have our people and our staff, whoever are dealing with all these things, they have done whatever they need to do and uh, we have done things according to what has been laid down as per procedures.